I'm disappointed the final bill contains any cuts to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. But the conferees, we worked together and we rejected the deepest cuts to the hunger safety net and the most harmful new conditions which were advocated by an extreme majority in the House, both of which would have undermined the very reason we offer food assistance. Their provisions would have slashed nearly $40 billion from nutrition assistance programs. It would have eliminated eligibility for millions of Americans. It would have made it harder for needy, hungry children to receive free school meals. And frankly, Mr. President, I am fed up of hearing members, whether in the House or sometimes members in this body, say, oh, we can't afford to feed these hungry children. They go to school. These are the same members that voted for a blank check to go to an unnecessary war in Iraq, something that's cost us $2 trillion. They did it on a credit card to go to war in Iraq. Feed children in America so they might actually learn when they're at school? Oh, we can't afford that. Come on, feeding those hungry children is an investment in the future of this great nation. And some of the demeaning and offensive provisions, such as allowing drug testing of beneficiaries and unrealistic work requirements, those were left out. And you have somebody who's been a tax-paying, hard-working citizen for decades, and then the factory closes and they're out trying to find more work and they need supplemental nutrition to feed themselves and their family, are we going to demean them after what they've done for the country up to that point? Of course not. And the legislation, though, promotes food security in low-income communities, it encourages healthy eating through increased access to fruits and vegetables. That's something, an approach that we've done in Vermont for years. It's also one of the reasons that and the fact that we cover every child from birth to 18 years old for health care is one of the reasons Vermont is always listed as either number one or number two healthiest state in the nation. 